Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another YouTube episode of Cops Court and Coffee. Now, we all know that identity theft has become an enormous problem for a lot of people out there. But did you know that for every one minute of the day, about 19 people fall victim to identity theft? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And listen, I, I, I was affected, but I caught it early. Hmm. And did you know that it will take about $500 and 30 hours to resolve each identity theft crime? Mm. But there are some things that you can do to prevent this from happening to you. Stay right here and we'll give you our top 10 tips to combat the largest, the largest. white collar crime in the history of America. The largest. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing is, under no circumstances, guys, should you ever carry your social security card in your wallet or write it on your personal checks. Serves no purpose. Now, you should only give out your social security number when it is absolutely necessary. I'll stress it. Don't give it out just to anybody. Give it out when it's absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. Number two, protect your PIN, personal identification number. Never write a PIN number on your credit, debit card, or on a, sli a slip or piece of paper that you're going to keep in your wallet. Your PIN should be a number that you can easily recall and hard for someone to figure out. Don't make the mistake of using your birthday. A lot of people do that. What's your birthday? Hmm. Ah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, the third thing is watch out for shoulder surfers all right these are going to be the people who hover over your shoulder while you're at an atm machine in order to try and steal your pen number all right always use your free hand to shield the keypad when using the atm all right cover it up good idea good idea and the skimming thing yes there's what they have these skimmers they put them over the card reader Give it a quick tug before you put your card in there. If it falls out, walk away. Mm -hmm. Number four, collect your mail promptly. Ask the post office to put your mail on hold when you're away from home for more than a day or two. You can easily do that online and we'll post the link below for you. That also helps you too as your mail piles up. People are looking to break into homes. Look for the piled up mail easily victim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number five. Pay attention to your billing cycles, guys. If bills or financial statements fail to show up in the mail, this could be a potential problem. Try and sign up for e-statements if your creditors, your banks, or your, your car loan people, if they offer it, use it. It's a good thing. That's true. Keep your receipts, and, yeah, and you should always compare your receipts with your account statements and watch for unauthorized credit, unauthorized charge transactions. It's a good way to fight an unauthorized charge when you have your receipt. Yeah, if you have your receipt mm -hmm. and you see something, and maybe it don't even match up. Maybe they try and add an extra dollar Yeah, for a good tip. Now, number seven is you should always, always shred unwanted receipts, credit offers, account statements, expired credit and debit cards, etc., to prevent dumpster divers from getting your personal information. Now, I'm gonna post a link also that uh, will link you to a shredder that I personally use, and I have to tell you that it works great and it's very affordable. That's good. And That's if you good. think guys aren't dumping, I mean, jumping into your dumpster or your garbage to get your information, you're sadly mistaken. Number eight. Don't respond to unsolicited requests for personal information in the mail over the phone or on online. There's a lot of tricks to fake you type in your passwords. Passwords and seniors, look out for that too. Now, number nine is install and use firewalls and virus detection software to protect your personal information on your computers. And very important, keep that software up to date. I, I just updated mine and Every computer, smartphone, laptop, desktop is protected in my house. Number 10, and lastly, check your credit report at least once a year. Check it more frequently if you suspect someone has gotten access to your personal information. By law, you're entitled to one free credit report 
from the three major credit reporting agencies once a year. That's all we have, you know, the top 10 things that we have used. We hope you guys use those top 10 things as well. And as always, guys, remember, no one cares like we do. And we will see you guys in the next video.